for being here. It, I know, you know, you have to wake up at 3 o'clock in the it's morning. It's my pleasure to be here and with you. And look at you. this. Hey, look at that, we match, indeed. Oh, how cute. Mike Jarek is not boycotting the program. He is on vacation this week, but it is nonetheless today, Primero de Mayo. Yes, we've got uh, Team Fox coverage of a day without immigrants. Immigrants boycotting the United States economy by staying away from their jobs, staying away from schools, not going out and buying. Fox's William Lajeunesse is live in Los Angeles, where the biggest demonstration is taking place today. William? Well, Juliet, out here they're calling it Nothing Gringo Day. That is that people are not supposed to buy or do anything American. Of course, it wasn't supposed to be this way. Back in 1986, when the first and one-time amnesty was offered, that was supposed to end illegal immigration. As you can see from the live pictures that we have right now, that didn't happen. In essence, you've got 20 years of government neglect and, of course, contradictory laws. On one hand, we discourage illegals from coming here. But once they get here, we encourage them to stay. For instance, look at the border. We're spending billions there on manpower and technology to stop people. Nevertheless, police, once an illegal get here, can't even ask them their legal status. Employers hire them without penalty. Day labor centers are sometimes government mandated here in California, and the IRS will give someone a tax ID number even if they are here illegally. That is why organizers say government owes them legalization, and 70% of Americans support some type of legalization for those already here. There may be some exceptions, but again, the polls clearly say that the majority of the American public support legalization and see our demonstrations with respect and also honor. Many are taking the day off. Some businesses had to close because their workforce is so largely illegal they had no choice. Others are closing in sympathy with them. However, the big concern right now is the ports of L.A. and Long Beach. Independent truckers are threatening to close those ports. That would cause a huge problem and economically paralyze much of Southern California. Or to put it very bluntly, if you snapped your fingers and all the undocumented disappeared, Los Angeles economy would grind to a halt in the proverbial New York minute. Now, please say if truckers try to do that, they will tow the trucks and impound them for 30 days. Largely, they're expecting this to be a peaceful march and demonstration, if you will. It is supposed to end up here about 2 o'clock West Coast time, and then there'll be another march starting down Wilshire Juliet uh, later in the day, and that's the one that the mayor and the cardinal here are hoping that students will go to, trying to keep them in school for the time being. Back to you. William Lajeunesse, right. thanks. Yep. Meanwhile, Houston.